Well, what I'm going to do here is take all this TBI stuff off and this all this fuel stuff off and see if I can put a, a normal stuff on here. This is giving me do five cent in me to death with all this stuff I <clears throat> I put in a whole bunch of sensors I put in there and it still doesn't quite run right so that's what I'm gonna do got the air cleaner off now I'm gonna take a few more things off then I'm gonna give it a good power washing and then we'll see what happens well, this here I gotta take this here is pretty crucial. This is the TV cable and it has to kinda work at the right at the right time here so it shifts at the right time. So what I'm gonna do here is just take a couple pictures of it and see if I can put it back more or less the way it was. It runs really nice. I got her kind of tuned up. I'm going to take it for a test drive, make sure everything is okay. And I might have to readjust it a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so it was actually not that hard. It took me quite a while because I just worked at it part time. But um, the distributor was quite simple because all I did was put a HEI distributor on it, I rebuilt it and put a, and all I needed was uh, one wire from the original coil with a uh, hot when the switch is on and as far as the fuel pump for the carburetor I put another relay here and uh, I found a wire that goes down to the fuel pump and I just hooked it into my relay and uh, with the switch on and um, that worked out really good and I got a fuse here in, in the fuel pump in case something does happen and uh, my fuel lines I just took them down there from the back brought them up here to the regulator at first I had the regulator sitting over here but I didn't like the idea of being so close to the exhaust in case something happens so I put this over here in case I have any leaks it might not be so bad here. I put an extra filter to 
maybe slow down the fuel a little bit because this regulator I can only get it down to about four pounds I'd like it about but it seems to work okay but I was gonna put it down to about three but uh, we'll try it the way it is and then there's my gauge and I have a shut off because uh, when I want to run it on propane I'll probably shut it off although I have a switch inside to turn the fuel pump off but this is just just in case and that's about that all the rest was kind of straightforward I never put a vacuum advanced on the distributor yet uh, I'm gonna just try it like that and then we'll see what happens I used that uh, that port there that's supposed to go to the distributor that vacuum port I use it to turn on my propane over here to turn on the switch to propane for now and we'll see what happens later but yeah I'm happy you done it took a little while because I was just working at it part-time but uh, I'm really happy with it so far we'll, we'll see how it drives well after running this for a few months it works very well I'm 100 percent happy that I did this uh, I had just a, a few adjustments to do like uh, this TV cable down here this one here I had to make myself a little plate there to get it to shift uh, at the right spot other than that she shifts nice now it's got lots of power the fuel economy is really good a lot of people tell me that the fuel injection is way better than the carburetor well I tested them out on both of these I tested the injection out first the fuel injection and I recorded it and I made uh, changed everything over the carburetor and I made the same trips with the carburetor and in some cases I got a little better mileage with the carburetor than the fuel injection but on the average it was pretty well exactly the same so the fuel injection for me is pretty useless for this thing anyways and this thing works perfect I have no trouble with it it's performed very very well in the last few months and I'm sure it'll last me quite a while this is an older pickup it's a three-quarter ton but it's my work truck so it's very nice shape so it's a keeper 